up and good afternoon guys well late afternoon today's been one of those crazy days where I feel like I've been running around all day with my head cut off got a lot done but there's still so much more to do I mean we're starting the vlog it's like almost five o'clock in the afternoon which rarely rarely happens no 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 no. this is my, my stop sign thank you sir thank you sir so we're on our way to the house right now Brandon is actually picking up his can-am today I wish I had time to stop and get fuel because as you can see we are uh, pretty low there I know I know I was getting good for a second about filling up at the right time but apparently we're gonna run really low so Brandon actually wanted a couple additions added to the can-am he wanted to put primarily his kids name uh, next to the door that he sits at aka like a co-pilot thing and then we're just gonna end up adding the whole family's name, you know, driver, his name, his wife's name, and the kid's name. So that's kind of why I'm in a hurry right now to go get this done before he picks it up. And then we gotta talk about the coveted image that has been going around, or images, of the finally released 2020 GMC HD truck. So we all know California is all about saving the environment. You know, one turtle got a straw up his nose, now we gotta ban straws. Uh, they just banned styrofoam containers. Why are we not banning these giant freaking stupid books that show up on my doorstep all the time? Can we ban these? I mean, that's a lot of trees right there, isn't it, California? And I'm sure I'm going to get in trouble for talking bad about California. Sorry. Sorry, YouTube. But I just, you know, I want to apologize to the rest of the country. I wish there was more I could do, but if any of these stupid laws come to your states, I I'm sorry. I tried. I tried. I'm a big spokesperson for you guys. I'm trying. <laughs> Dude, you ready? You ready to see it? You excited? I already saw it. You didn't see the video. Get out of here. Yeah, but there was something you didn't see in the video. Yep. Oh, we made some changes, bro. Some stuff that was missed. Yep. Oh, huh. That is not D Max Rhino. Who are you watching? Do you break movies? What do you think, bro? Here, pull this thing out. Riley, hop in. Pull this thing out. Should you drive it? <laughs> right, right into the neighbor's garage or what? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, you gotta hit all the lights on. It's dark out here. Come on, safety first. There you go. Got it. Woo! Don't blind your neighbors. Right? right. You stoked or what? How's it look? What do you mean, no? Good. You like it? Yeah? You got the sickest can out there now, huh? Yep. How much horsepower did that decal add? I don't know. 250? <laughs> Roughly? Yeah, it's kind of cheating. I don't like that like, my videos are so daily now. But, like, I don't get to surprise anybody because <laughs> you apparently yeah. already watched this before you came to pick it up. But you stoked to see your Check name on there? Look. Yeah. Co pilot. I like that, huh? Pretty soon? Hey, a couple more years, your name will be right there. Yep. Driver. Driver. And if any of you guys run into this thing out in the desert, you know, snap a picture, send it to me. Don't be creepy. He's got kids. Don't don't creep up on nobody. No. And I know, like, hold on, where's, where's the tattoos? I know he looks like the scary one, but you don't want to mess with the wife either. No. <laughs> yeah. Definitely this is the this is the puppy her. dog compared to that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Don't be creepy, but you know, snap a picture if you guys see this thing out in the desert, because this thing's yeah. gonna be roaming around a lot. Feel free to come up, say hello. There you go. Yep. Very friendly. <laughs> All right, well now we got so much garage space for activities. Ugh. Ugh. Until I fill it back up here in probably a couple more days. Let's head up to Workforce World Headquarters and talk about the new GM truck. Now the buzz has been heavy and with the release of the 2020 Chevy HD truck, everybody was kinda, uh, I don't even know if upsets the word, but disgusted with the look of the new Chevy truck. And I, like most people said, all right, well we're down one. <laughs> We know the Chevy truck doesn't look that great. Let's, you know, the GMC, is that gonna be our saving grace? And well, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, we finally have a decent looking truck for 2020. Now, I'm not saying they're perfect, but if we compare the 2020 Chevy HD truck to the 2020 GMC, I mean, there's not a whole lot of comparison. As you can see, I mean, clearly the front end is really what's different on the trucks. And if you just were to take that portion of the truck and look at it, you'd wonder what the heck that thing was. 
And then you take that portion and you realize like that's a GMC truck. And while they're not going like insanely crazy changing the game on the front end, I think that's almost what we respect more about the GMC front end. They didn't try and go too crazy. They didn't try and go too far out of the box. And it's still in the realm of what today's truck buyer would want. Now I will say right off the bat though, the headlights do remind me that of a Nissan Titan. We like that was my first very initial thought when I saw the truck was here we go again on the whole automaker headlights all starting to look the same and unfortunately and I'm sorry if I ruined it for you guys but I can't get that look out of my head when it comes to the new 2020 GMC but if we can look aside from the Nissan Titan headlights there actually is some design features in the truck that I like I really like the new kind of I don't even know how you would describe that kind of like one of those like style noses on like a snake I don't know if that's a good way to describe exactly what's going on with the hoods but I like this a lot more than the L5P hood that was on previous generation trucks I like that it's kind of split up and I just like the body lines a lot better you can almost see they're carrying almost like Kodiak style uh, body lines in the way that the hood steps up towards actually taller and more squared off than previous generations coming over to where it's kind of hard to see here they have the new Duramax Allison badges uh, they're a little too stand out to me. I like the old school, either just lettering right there or just a nice tight badge. The way that it gave it its own little whole section right here is too much. You're gonna have to definitely either color match that, black that out, or somebody's gonna make something cool for that eventually. Obviously carrying over, we've got and retain the same mirrors. Um, they're gonna grow on everybody. Right now I'm still in the not really liking them thing. Reasons I've heard as to why they switched over to this like single bent noodle broken arm system right here is to eliminate the blind spot that uh, the current trucks have and it really is actually a blind spot when you have the two bars coming out right there it, it's kind of it does get in the way and you got to really learn to look around that especially when you're trying to turn onto a road obviously here we're looking at a single rear wheel option and they're integrating these weird uh, amber clearance markers on the fenders I don't know how much I like those they're really big I almost wish they were smaller kind of disappeared in the daytime. I wouldn't mind them being on at night, but I don't like how big and stand out that they are. Uh, grill wise, I like that GMC obviously retains just a big snub nose grill. I think that we could make a really sweet work for it grill that would fit into this truck um, just fine. Uh, I like these little vents that they got going on on either side of the grill next to the headlights. And then coming down in um, flog, you're gonna have your work cut out for you when you guys go to make a bumper for this thing, which is how funky GMC got there on all those weird body lines, but you know, I got faith in you guys and it looks like they kind of retained similar uh, Fog lights to like the 2016 Chevy 1500s. So nothing too crazy, but overall you guys have to admit this is a huge Step up from what we saw with the Chevy HD truck now if we switch over to the dually as you guys know I was in the market for a dually for a little while here. We've got the new dually and you know, I can't say I'm a huge, huge fan of the way the rear fender looks. I have to see one in person to really kind of wrap my mind around it, but you know, I, I just don't know if I'm a huge fan. They keep the same amber clearance markers and then obviously the required DOT dually fender lights that are on there as well. Uh, they retain the step side, which is different. Like I said, I'd have to see that in person to see how the step side looks with the dually fender um, just from the pictures I'm seeing I don't really mind it but speaking of dually obviously most people buying a dually uh, you're buying it to be able to tow it's promising over 30,000 pounds of towing capacity obviously fifth wheel towing capacity with the new GMC HD dually and of course they're going to be coupling it with the 10 speed Allison transmission numbers wise it's still the L5P there's nothing too crazy uh, you're still under a thousand foot pounds of torque but I'm happy to say and happy to see GM is finally catching up in terms of camera, sensor, technology packages in their vehicles because Ford's been just leading that game for a long time. Well, GM had it. I mean, if you go like to the Escalades and all that, the technology's there. They just for some reason refuse to implement it into a truck that we're all paying 70 plus thousand dollars for, which I think we've paid for it and I'm sure we would all pay the extra couple grand for it. But I guess their marketing guy said, not yet. Pump the brakes on that one, kind of like iPhone had like crappier cameras than other phones at the time, but they would just keep putting out like mediocre cameras because they know you'd want to buy the next one. Uh, it's just a, I have a feeling it's coming down to a lot of a marketing game. So you will have the option, obviously 360 cameras, you have the option of 15 different camera angles, which is pretty freaking sweet actually. But in GM fashion, they decided they need to bring something new to the table. So welcome to 
the see-through trailer camera. Or maybe it's going to be like the new ghost trailers that everybody says dodges their tongue when their tailmates are flipped up. So the see-through trailer camera, uh, I'm not sure what the exact technical name of it is, but basically the way it works is you're going to have a camera, probably a wireless camera that attaches to the rear of your trailer, and then through the software it integrates with your camera in your tailgate, and it essentially makes it look like your trailer see-through. I could see flaws in this. I don't know exactly how this is going to work. Obviously, this is like a very doctored picture to make sure all the lines of the road line up perfectly. Everything lines up perfectly and it looks like this big seamless thing. Um, I think turns are going to be weird. I'd like to see it in person to see if it's really like anything special or if it's just something that's going to really confuse you and make things weird. Obviously, you guys know I'm a big proponent. Um, if you're teaching your kid to drive, don't give them a vehicle with a bunch of sensors and cameras on it. Everybody should learn to drive, you know, without all that. So you're not relying on technology because relying on technology is going to bite you in the butt one day. So to rely on this technology would be dumb, but the fact that you have it, I think it is a nice option. I think most um, semi drivers or most big rigs should have a camera on the rear of the trailer. I know a lot of the old school guys are going to go stupid. What do you need it for? But you know, it is nice to have. It is nice to see behind the trailer. Now, on top of obviously releasing the HD truck for the guys that want to work with their truck, tow with their truck, uh, they are releasing an HD AT4 off-road edition. And this picture actually got a lot of people excited and they made it look super off-roady in case you didn't believe this is an off-road truck. Now, I would couple this with being similar to like the Z71 off-road package on the Chevy to where you're getting some off-road upgrades. Uh, you'll probably get a different suspension package, but it's really like Rancho shocks that aren't worth much. Um, but the main reason people do packages like this is because you get a different look. So you get the blacked out grill, which I don't think looks bad. I'm just not a big fan of like super blacked out stuff to super white stuff, unless it's like the roof. Uh, but I mean, I don't mind it. And the good thing is being that it's already come painted, it'll be easy to really repaint white if you want. But it is a, it's definitely a cool looking truck. It's kind of like Chris's all-terrain edition that he has of the 1500. They do make an all-terrain edition of the 2500, or did. And I really do like it. You know, you get the red stitching on his truck and you get a couple different little details that are different, which between that and the Denali, there's not a whole lot of change. But as you guys know, I'm all about seeing these trucks lifted. And of course, the second a new trunk comes out, oh, well, that's scaled a little bit weird. Uh, but let me just address something really quick when it comes to social media and posting something. So clearly people took what was already uh, rendering off of another body. Like, I don't think this was professionally made just based on looking at where they just photoshopped it over a rendering of a previous truck model. So what they did was they took a release picture from GMC, mirrored it so it fit the same angle. Basically, the truck was facing probably this way in the picture and they just went on the computer, clicked mirror and flipped it that way to fit on that chassis, right? Now, multiple people made multiple different renderings of this. Notice one issue with when you do that. You get a backwards GMC logo. Now, I'm a guy of all about details, okay? So check this out. This is also another one. This Photoshop job is not the best, but we got Dually. Same issue, right? You guys took the time to mirror it from this way to that way and haphazardly Photoshop it onto the new suspension. But then once you were done, you couldn't reflip it? Like literally, all you had to do was re-mirror what you just mirrored, which I could do on my phone. Like, it's all in the details. Like, why people forgot that? I've seen multiple pictures all day today, all over Instagram, and everybody forgot to re-mirror it. Like, ugh. Ugh, little stuff like that drives me crazy. Sorry. But since this one doesn't scale properly to the TV here, let's pull up the dually, take a look at just how nice this looks lifted. And to see that, our good buddy uh, Chase over at Innovative Designs was not that far off. Um, I mean, compared to the Chevy of having to like try and like it and seeing it lifted, you're going to be like, okay, I guess I can kind of see it. Let me see a few on the road. This one is just instantly like, yeah, that looks like a big, burly, beefy HD truck. Chevy, I don't know what they were thinking. This thing, yeah, all day long. Like this is really, really tempting me to trade in the BBB build or sell the BBB build and build one of these things. Like I'm telling you, I just love that hood line. Like it reminds me of the Kodiak and you guys know I'm a big Kodiak lover. Um, so seeing this gets me really, really excited to see these things in person. Cause I mean, it just looks like a monster. Like that looks like that beefiness we've been looking for. So all in all guys, I have to say, I'm really excited to see these on the road and weirdly they debuted them in my town, which never happens. And somehow a bunch of like 
news people or whoever got invited. I didn't even know what was happening. So if anybody out there has a little in with GM and can like get me to one of these reveals for the YouTube channel, like that'd be really cool because I'd love to see this in person. And I feel like I'm a lot more entertaining than some of the guys that went and looked at these. But maybe not. Maybe GM just doesn't care about me. I've given you guys a lot of money. Like, get me to one of these reveals. So yeah, guys, I think GMC is definitely going to be the leader when it comes to the new HD trucks coming out, especially when it comes to this versus the Chevy. You're going to start seeing a lot of people convert to GMC. I know uh, our good buddy Dirty Max Jack is already claiming he's going to get on the list and he's going to buy one of these, and I, I hope he does, man. I can't, can't wait to see a new build out of him. But anyways, I know this video is short. A lot of you guys have been asking to do a review on what I think of the new truck, so... Hopefully this kind of quenched your taste on that. As always, thank you guys so much for watching my videos. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please click the subscribe button now that we can figure out if we do uh, end up with one of these. And as you guys saw a few minutes ago, uh, the can amps not mine. Brandon was dropping it off so I can put some sweet work for it decals on the side. If any of you guys have a four-seater can am and you would like that decal package, um, shoot me an email. Maybe we can work something out because um, it did. It turned out a lot cooler than I had even anticipated. And I think they'd be pretty easy to install. I mean, you kind of have a video on the install there. So I might be willing to sell this. I don't like to sell stuff that I think is going to get installed wrong because then it just looks bad for everybody. But I think that one's kind of, I don't want to say idiot proof, but idiot proof. Also, don't forget to give this video a like, aka a thumbs up. Maybe if we get enough likes on this video, we can get our good buddy Dave. Maybe we even get Tank Top Dave back in a video. Don't forget to check out WorkForitApparel.com because if there's anything you want in this life, you got to be willing to work for it. You guys are the best. Sorry for the short video, but I wanted to get the opinion out for you guys. I will catch you in the next video. I'm out. Damn.